Hello Cancer and welcome to Lotus Spirit Tarot. My name is Shannon Colleen and this is going to be your tarot predictions for 2024. Before we get started, I do want to mention that yes, I am available for personal readings. So if you would like to hear directly from your angels, guides, and ancestors, go to the description box below, click the more button, and then click on my booking site link. Ooh, all right, Cancer. Hmm. Let's see what your overall energy is for 2024. Divine Source Creator, what do we have for Cancer? Show us clearly for Cancer, please. Show us clearly for Cancer. What is the overall energy? Thank you. All right, Cancer. What do we have here? Dance of the Divine Feminine 42. Wow. Okay, so a couple things coming through right away. Um, they're showing me the lover's card in the tarot which is the six, 42, right? Four plus two is six. So making new choices, being on a brand new path of, of love, but it can be romantic. I mean, of course it can, but this is more of like what I love to do, how I love the experiences. I feel like you're really kind of... Um, making choices that only bring you joy okay that only bring you joy here because i'm getting like the dance of life right like i want this kind of career i want this kind of business i want this kind of relationship i want this xyz right and you're really choosing you, which is great because 2024 20, we have Aries in the North Node, which is the first house of I am. It's all about me and that is okay. That is perfectly fine to do that. We need to do that. And I really feel like you're taking making choices that really just bring you ultimate joy. And you're not going to be doing anything that doesn't, right? You're making choices based off your emotions as far as good emotions this makes me feel good i am going to do this this does not i am not going to do this and i really believe this brings you a, a bountiful bliss right happiness but also because it's the feminine energy because you're doing this from your heart space you are open to receiving the gifts that people will give, right? The promotions, the raise, the clients, the love, right? You're open to receiving these things. It's very balanced energy and I really like it. Let's see what we have here. 42. Here we go. Sorry, they don't want me to read the whole thing. I was just waiting for them to point out where they want it. Um, the, if I could read. This oracle comes to you with guidance. Your life may feel as though it is being tipped upside down. Perhaps you feel as though the great beloved in a feisty mood has grabbed your ankles, is holding you upside down and shaking you wildly until your skirt is over your head or the pockets of your pants become freed of their contents, keys and wallet dropping to the floor in disarray. Your hair is messy, your bottom is in the air and your sense of orientation is nowhere to be found. Blood is rushing to your head and goodness knows you just want to be put down to have a moment to come to your senses. So the beloved will give you that gift. But don't imagine it will last far too long. The great beloved esteems you capable of so much more than being sure-footed and sensible. Yeah, you're taking big wild chances this year. <laughs> you are capable of more whirling and stumbling while inspired by the music of the spheres. Yeah. I know that didn't sound good, but it is. It's like it's like your universe is shaking things up. It's like the hangman, right? Like I'm getting a new perspective on things. And you're taking big risks this year. You're a little tired of the, the responsibilities that really just don't matter. 
there are some responsibilities that matter. I get that. But it's like, do I really have to do this? No, I don't. I'm going to shake things up. I feel like you're choosing to shake things up. You're making different choices. You're going to do the dance, right? I love it. Show me clearly. Angels, guides, ancestors for cancer. Show me clearly. What is the message for cancer for 2024? Guidance, advice, predictions. There we go. All right, cancer. So, yeah, <laughs> justice is the first card out. Understanding, karmic balance. Yeah, it's like you've paid your dues. It's like you've paid your karmic dues. It's time for you to enjoy life, understand what you enjoy, what you want, bringing fairness into your life, doing things for you, Cancer, doing things for you. And we also have here the Hierophant, right? Spirituality, knowledge, right? The halo, like you get it now. You have the wisdom. And I love all this Major Arcana because Major Arcana is when we have truly Cancer, big shifts in our reality, big changes. And I feel like you know you're blessed, right? The Hierophant is a card of blessings. You know you're blessed. You're, you're, you're blessed with the ability to have free will to make the choices you want to make. And you are not making them based on what happens to others. I know that sounds a little cold, but it's like sometimes we don't do something because it might affect somebody else. And No, you are all about you and doing what really brings you joy. And that brings in more and more blessings for you. I think you're really changing it up here because you know you've paid your dues. Because that's kind of what I'm hearing. I've paid my dues. It's time for me to put me first. Uh, there's, you know, this life to be embraced. I think you're feeling a lot of gratitude also. Show me clearly. What is the message for cancer, please? Show me clearly. Thank you. All right. Yeah, we have the moon. I love this. Your intuition is huge. You are no longer living in the illusion of, again, the responsibilities that truly, really aren't yours. You know, it's kind of like, they're kind of giving me like, you, you know, you got to be married by this age. You got to have kids by this age. You got to have the white picket fence by this age. And it's like, no, mm-mm. And it's not to say that you may not want those things. Maybe you do or you've had those things. But it is time for you to live your deepest dreams, right? Because the moon talks about what we truly want down deep. And look, at again, three major arcana right off the bat. You're not going to live a, an illusion anymore. You're going to live the life you desire. And look at this. We've got the Spirit of Cups here with opportunity and creativity. Learning how to live a more creative life. Doing things differently. Traveling. Um, which again, brings in these opportunities to you. People are going to come in and make offers because they're just so excited about what you're doing. I mean, that could be a wonderful, beautiful opportunity of a new career, a job, a travel situation, love, right? But because I think you're just embracing you. I think you're just embracing you. I love this. Show me clearly, please. Whoa. Show me clearly for cancer. Angels, guides, ancestors, show me clearly. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm absolutely in love that this card came out. This is, you know, the metamorphosis card here, which is profound change. <laughs> profound change, right? I don't think you're going to recognize your own life, right? Things are just going to change. You're changing so much. But I love here is that we have the two of pentacles, though, because you are absolutely balancing out <clears throat> no more juggling this or that or the other no more sitting in this fluctuation you're adapting to the new you in a very beautiful way which brings a lot of balance into your life here oh, sorry sniffles and 
you're above the mountains. You're above the challenge here, right? I mean, you are tapping into what you truly desire and how you want to be and how you want to live. And it doesn't surprise me. Okay? It does not surprise me with a spirit of swords here. This is learning new things. This is quick travel too, right? This is quick change. This is, I'm, I'm eager to get going. I'm eager to learn more, be more, do more, right? With the Hierophant. So some of you may also have mentors that are coming in for you too. And that could be physically somebody you meet that inspires you, you want to learn from. That could be through here, YouTube, right? But you are learning so much more about how to have the abundance you desire. And I think you really take charge here. King of Wands, right? Leadership and success. I'm going to take charge. This is my life. I'm going to go for it, right? Wands are the most spiritual suit and they're the most taking action, right? I'm going to take action with my own life. I'm going to take charge here. And I think that you find someone, right, that inspires you, somebody who is a king of wands, and then you become the king of wands. It's really, you're, it, it, it's like your due, right? Again, it's like I've paid my dues. I've done what I've had to do. Now it's my time. Right? It's my time. And it is, Cancer. All right, let's see what else we have here for you. Don't forget to check out your other placements, too. Your Venus, your rising, um, and your moon. I would say, watch them all. I watch mine. Definitely your moon, okay? Because it came out. But also, your rising seems very important because you're changing in such a big way. And it's so inspiring. I mean, truly, Cancer, you're inspiring me right now. Show me clearly. What do we have for Cancer, please? Show me clearly. What is the message, please, for Cancer? Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Cancer? What does Cancer need to know? Big year for you. Big year of change, doing what you want having good karma come in for you, things just working out. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for cancer? Whoa. Okay. We're not going to take all these, but the ones that came upright we are. Today, I am a magnet for good things to happen to me. What did I say? <laughs> you can't make that up. What did I say there? You are an everyday you understand that you are a magnet for this success. And then we have my possibilities are endless. And I think you realize this. I think this is like the big realization here, right? With the metamorphosis card. Like I can have whatever I desire. I don't have to live by society's rules. And I'm not saying society's rules are all bad, but it is the expectations of... You have to have this and that by this age and this and that by that age. And you're just like, I'm going to do things my way. It's almost like I'm hearing there's more to life than that, just this. There's more to life than working for a company for 50 years trying to get that gold watch and retiring, right? There's more to life and I need to experience it. So I absolutely love this for you, Cancer. With that being said, all of my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.